Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is about proportional relationships. So our objectives today are that you will determine if a table of values represents a proportional relationship, and we will determine if a graph represents a proportional relationship. You will also identify the constant of proportionality given a proportional relationship. So here's what I'd like you thinking about today as we go through the lesson. How can you determine if a graph represents a proportional relationship? Let's talk about proportional relationships and tables first. A table represents a proportional relationship when there is one constant value, that when you multiply the value in the first column, the product is the value of the second column. This must be true for all values in the table. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's a table that I'll tell you right up front represents a proportional relationship. I hope that either you've seen a previous video of mine or you have learned in school that a ratio table also is proven to be a proportional relationship if the cross product of any two rows of values or columns, depending on how your table set up, our cross products are equal. So 2 times 6 is 12, and 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 9 is 36, and 6 times 6 is 36. I could also say 2 times 9 is 18, and 6 times 3 is 18. So I know that there's a different way to find that there's a proportional relationship, but trust me as I build on this lesson and we layer in the idea of proportionality. So here's another way to look for proportionality in a table. 2 times 3 halves. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, leaving me 3. It checks. 4 times 3 halves. 4 divided by 2 is 2, times 3 is 6. Or you could do 4 times 3 is 12, divide by 2, 6. All right, let's do that this time. 6 times 3, 18, divided by 2 is 9 or 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 times 3 is 9. It checks. So every one of the x values multiplied by 3 halves is equivalent to the y value. Now this seems daunting to come up with this value 3 halves. I'm going to show you in a minute how to do this very easily. Maybe you've already seen the pattern as I'm talking. So this table represents a proportional relationship since each value in the first column equals the value in the second column when multiplied by 3 halves. So now let's talk about the constant of proportionality. That's what I was just showing you. When a proportional relationship exists in a table of values, any value in the second column divided by the corresponding value in the first column is the constant of proportionality. So in the previous slide, I showed you multiplying by a number, but the inverse of multiplying, if we go the in opposite direction is to divide. So the constant proportionality is a ratio of y over x, the second column over the first column. So if I look at that value, it's 3 over 2, which is what I identified as the factor when I was multiplying. Let's look at y over x, 6 over 4, my ratio y to x. This simplifies to 3 halves. Now let's look at this ratio. y to x is 9 over 6, which is equal to 3 over 2. So our ratio is the same when we divide y by x or write it as a ratio y to x. They all simplify to 3 halves. So therefore, the constant of proportionality is 3 halves. So now the constant of proportionality is a ratio. It's a ratio of y to x of a proportional relationship and it can be represented by a table, a graph, or an equation. In this video, we're going to focus on tables and graphs. In the next video, we'll talk about equations. So the constant of proportionality, which sounds like a really big word, is represented by the variable k. And it's represented by the ratio y over x. So k is the universal variable that we use to represent the constant of proportionality and it's just a ratio, y over x. 
So given a table of values that you're told represents a proportional relationship, or you could determine that by using any method that you've learned previously, we know that any ratio y to x is going to be the same. So we could also use this to prove that a table of values was proportional or not proportional. If you find every ratio y to x and their equivalent, then you have a proportional relationship. If y over x, that ratio, were all simplified to a different value, you would not have a proportional relationship. So here, I can identify that the constant of proportionality, which we use the variable k for, is 3 halves. Now it's your turn. I would like you to use this table and identify the constant of proportionality. Now before I ask you to pause, if you're being asked to identify the constant of proportionality, then you've been given a table that already has a proportional relationship and you do not need to determine that. But I'd like you to pause here and find that k, the constant of proportionality. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So here's our table. We're gonna, I'm going to remind you that k, the constant of proportionality, is equal to the ratio of the value y over x. So we look at our first entry, y is 12 over x is 4. 12 over 4 is equal to 3. So now we have 21 over 7, which simplifies to 3, and then 27 over 9, which also simplifies to 3. So since they all simplify to 3, we know that our k, our constant proportionality, is 3. Now I want to show you that relationship I began the lesson with. 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 times 3 is 27. All right, your turn again. I'd like you to identify the constant of proportionality k. Please pause now, come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So reminding you that k is a ratio of y to x. So y is 3 over our value x of 12, and this simplifies to 1 fourth or 1 over 4. And our next row, and now we could be done here, you could stop here, but I'm just going to continue so I can show you that any value, any row in here, y to x, it works. So 4 to 16 is 1 fourth. 6 over 24 also simplifies to 1 fourth. They're all the same, so the constant proportionality is 1 over 4. Reminding you, also in the next video you'll see this, there's a relationship between this x and y. You cannot pair this x with this y. They, each row is related to the other. All right, now let's talk about the graph of a proportional relationship. The graph of a proportional relationship will always be a line that begins at or passes through the origin. So again, the origin, just to remind you, is the ordered pair 0, 0. So on this graph, our origin point is right here and we can see our line is passing through it. On this graph, we have a what we call a first quadrant graph. It only represents quadrant one, and we can see that this line segment or line begins at the origin. So we know that this is a proportional relationship because each one passes through or begins at the origin. That must be true. So I'm gonna ask you to think about this one. Go ahead and pause and think about it. Does the graph represent a proportional relationship and be able to explain why or why not? Go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. So we're gonna look at the origin point right here, zero, zero, and the line does not pass through this point. So therefore, no, since the line does not pass through the origin, the graph does not represent a proportional relationship. Try this one. Does the graph represent a proportional relationship? And make sure you can explain. Go ahead and pause. Welcome back. So we look at the origin and it passes through or starts out on this one because it's a first quadrant graph. It starts at the origin. So yes, since the line begins at the origin, the graph does represent a proportional relationship. Now we can also identify the constant proportionality from a graph. If the graph of a line represents a proportional relationship, then the ratio y to x of any ordered pair on the line will be the constant proportionality k. 
So now let's look at this first graph. It passes through the origin, so we know there's a proportional relationship. Now I'm going to identify this point on the line. You could identify any point on the line except the origin. That won't work. Any other point on the line you could identify. I'm just going to pick this one. So the ordered pair here is x is 2, y 2. So the ordered pair 2, 2. Reminding you that constant proportionality is the ratio y over x. 2 over 2, y all over x, and 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So the constant of proportionality of this line is 1. Let's look at the second graph. Again, we need to identify a point on the line. You can pick any one you want except the origin. Now we got to identify what this ordered pair is. So we go 2, 4. So our ordered pair is 2, 4, and our constant proportionality is our ratio y to x. y is 4, x is 2. So our ratio is 4 to 2. That simplifies to 2, so the constant proportionality of this line is 2. Now it's your turn. I would like you to pause the video and identify the constant proportionality. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So I'm going to identify first a point on the line. I picked this one. It's the ordered pair 5, 2. And our ratio is y to x to find k, our constant of proportionality. Our value of y is 2, and then x is 5. So our constant proportionality k is 2 to 5. Your turn. Please pause and find the constant of proportionality. Welcome back. So the ordered pair I picked was this one, and our ratio is going to be, or our ordered pair, sorry, 1, 6. Our ratio is y to x to find k, y is 6, and x is 1, which simplifies to 6, giving us a constant proportionality of 6. And there you have it. That is how we identify the constant proportionality when given a proportional relationship. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon. Have a great day.